Well, hello there. I'm Auntie Sarah from Coffee Craft, and I've picked up a new hobby you might be interested in. So let me just get all settled here, and then I'll, uh, I'll let you know all the deets involved. All right, so to help me out today, I have a little, little spreadsheet here. As some longtime viewers may know, I consider anything you can do with two hands to be a skill, which would be a craft, which is coffee craft, right? And I've been interested in learning a new hobby for a little bit of time. And you know, after some kind of events happening in my life, I thought it was a good time to pick up something new for me to learn, a new chapter in my life. So here I am. Whoa, my paper's flying away. First off though, I'm gonna keep my sleeves where they are because they don't roll up so good. You should get yourself a hot cup of motivation. And then I'm gonna get into the different bullets here of what I wanted to go over with learning to ride a motorcycle. First bullet, why did I choose to learn to ride a motorcycle? <laughs> I've been interested in motorcycling for a few years and with, like I said, uh, some, some events have happened and at this point I needed kind of a fresh start, something new to learn, something to focus on and riding motorcycles really kind of fit the bill. I've got a little history of riding horses and driving cars <laughs> through my work. And, you know, honestly, this kind of combines both of those skills for me. You know, being really aware of the world around you, the road that you're on, the people around you, those all help me really focus on the now, which is what I needed. So here I am with my motorcycle, <laughs> honestly, I love this motorcycle so far. <laughs> I'm still getting through the break-in period, but overall I'm really happy and I'm excited to see where good old Royal Enfield here gets me. So how did I get into motorcycles? It all started with me Googling how to safely ride a motorcycle. It really just kind of went from there. I found that classes available in my area could offer me my endorsement and I saw that Harley Davidson offered for $300 or $350. An intro class to get me kind of exposed to riding a motorcycle before I fully committed to getting the full endorsement. And that worked out really well for me. I recommend it to anybody who has no experience with riding motorcycles but you're a little interested. Show up, they've got a $50 exposure, experience the ride day. That was so much fun. It really did kind of seal the deal <laughs> that I was gonna really enjoy this. Check out your local options. Maybe there's a Harley Davidson near you who offers it as well. So after I signed up for the Harley Davidson class, they sent me the MSF, which is the Motorcycle Safety Foundation e-course that I had to complete online. I can show you a little picture right here of me being very excited to finish that course. Uh, it was a little longer than I expected it to take. I did hear some people in my course kind of flew through it. They had a really easy time with it, but I, I'm, i you know, a woman in her 30s. <laughs> I am not invincible and fully aware of that. So I wanted to really, you know, go step by step and understand each thing that I was learning here. This is a serious hobby, right? Very easy to make a simple mistake that could be life altering. So I wanted to really understand everything. And the e-course I found to be extremely helpful. They have videos of different sections where it's in 360 degrees. So you can watch the video through the first time, watch it again from a different perspective. And that allowed me to kind of get a handle of how your hands should be moving as your head is moving around or what you need to be looking at in the road before I even got on a motorcycle, which was amazing. <laughs> After the e-course, I went to my first day. It was 50 mile an hour winds and raining and <laughs> I had a great time. I never got out of first gear and I had an amazing time just learning the friction zone, learning to drive, right? And very freeing experience. But the full class after that was a three-day course where I took the written exam that was based off of that MSF e-course and uh, some Michigan state laws. And then I had to ride. It was like almost two full days of just quite grueling <laughs> different maneuvers to learn how to do that I've used a few times already and then after that you take the road course and you're, you're you're legal to ride or as my trainer said that i am now parking lot certified 
<laughs> and he's right, right, is I never got out of second gear even in that. So everything I did for that whole weekend was at quite low speeds. So getting out into the real world where everything around me is 50 miles an hour, it's, <laughs> it's a little daunting to someone like me. So it took a little bit to get out of the subdivision for me, but once I did, it's, it's been very, very fun, very freeing. What are some of my biggest learnings so far? Well, I'd say the one thing that I keep repeating to myself that I learned in the class was you have got to keep an eye on and actually turn your head, look where you want to go, right? If you want to make the turn, you have to look through the entire turn and forcibly turn your head, not just move your eyes, move your whole head because your body will follow your head as you go. And that, <laughs> It's, it's a let go of control and just give in to intuition and look at where you gotta go and everything will work out, it'll be great. But beyond that, I mean, there's tons to learn about motorcycles. I have no experience in general, so I, I never even rode a dirt bike as a kid. You know, learning the different types of motorcycles, what the different sizes are, what a new rider should really be looking for in a motorcycle, that's been a huge learning curve for me. And I'm really lucky that I have some friends in my life who are very interested in motorcycles and excited to teach me about it. And they don't, you know, make fun of me for not knowing anything. <laughs> if you got friends who make fun of you for not knowing anything, you should get yourself some new friends. But I'd say really just look where you're going. And, you know, if you're a driver out there with motorcycles, please just keep an eye out for them. Again, just look around. What kind of motorcycle do I have? Well, I have the Royal Enfield Classic 350. This is a model year 23, and I have about 250 miles on her. <laughs> the Royal Enfield is a brand that was originally developed in England, but was later production moved to India, and then when the brand in England kind of shut down, Production never stopped in India, so it's very popular over in India. It's very, you know, over at least here, it's it's a very, you know, beginner-friendly price range for a bike. This bike with all the fancy colors on it was ran me about six thousand dollars, but you know you can get a very very similar bike in a different color for a lot closer to four thousand. So. For an American, that is very low entry price for a brand new motorcycle that has ABS, a USB charger, tells you how much gas is in the tank, and it comes with a three year warranty. So if, if you're brand new and you're considering getting a bike, this is very, you know, price friendly. What am I planning to do with this motorcycle? Well, if you know me, then you know that I love to plan. <laughs> <laughs> I've already planned out my first big road trip. I'm trying to get to 300 miles on this bike before then so that I can get my first oil change and the first service where they tune up everything, make sure all the valves are at the right timing, stuff like that. And then I'm gonna go drive across the state. I'm driving from kind of the middle of the state towards Lake Michigan. <laughs> I'm going to the Holland area. So I'm really excited to put probably about 150 miles in one day just on this bike and I'm just gonna go the back roads honestly it's just drive for 50 miles stop for a snack drive for another 50 miles stop for another snack <laughs> stretch your legs a little you know and then I'll have a fun Memorial Day weekend riding around in the Holland area too before I head on back so yeah that's my first big trip with this motorcycle if I get really into it this whole summer and I you know get a lot more confident we're also thinking about taking this bike and my friend's bike and a trailer down to North Carolina, just like last year where we drove on the tail of the dragon. We'll have to see if I get to that level of confidence to ride on the tail of the dragon, but of course I will always try to ride at my skill level. That is part of the training, is you want to have that good comfort zone of knowing where your skills are so that you don't outdrive your skills, because that's how you end up not on the road anymore. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't want to do that. I want to have a great time. What advice would I give someone who is interested in motorcycles but you don't know where to start? And I would say that number one, you probably should just do some Googling on your own and find out what kind of bikes you are really interested in, what type of a rider you think you are interested in becoming. If you want to be a sports bike rider, there's a huge number of Instagram people you could follow to learn about the different sport bikes um, that maybe would be a good entry level for you or if you like naked bikes kind of like what I have here you know you can take a look at those those triumphs are beautiful Royal Enfield's wonderful some Harleys look super cool and honestly so far my experience has been so friendly with everybody even you know I kind of expected the Harley guys to give me a little hard time for not buying a Harley but everybody's been so excited that I'm interested in riding and so happy to talk about it with me and it's been really positive so far, so don't feel intimidated. Just kind of go for it, right? But once you do start riding, I wanted to mention that I am dressed in some gear, and the, my biggest advice for the gear would be to, you know, get some gear that you're comfortable in because you're not going to wear it if you're not comfortable. And there are people who wear more gear than me, and there are people who wear less gear than me, and that's all a personal choice. But I chose to get uh, an armored jacket, armored pants, shoes, helmet, good gloves. And the pants and the jacket are about maybe a size or two a little big on me, just so I can wear layers underneath it when it does get a little colder, and I can take the layers off and still wear it when it's uh, a little warmer. Because <laughs> I don't want to get so hot that I take the gear off, right? Because I, I want to wear as much gear as I can for every ride and feel comfortable. So I would say, if you're brand new, just do some Googling, just get into it. If you feel intimidated, you know, you find a different group of people. They're not the right group. <laughs> and when you go riding, you should just ride your own ride. You know, don't try to keep up with people. Just focus on what you can do. Focus on what you're driving, what you're riding. Keep your eyes up. Look where you're going to go. And as long as you're looking there, you're going to go there. If you are interested in motorcycles or you have some advice you'd like to give me as a new motorcycle rider, please leave a comment in the description below. If you don't know me yet, my name is Auntie Sarah from Coffee Craft and my goal here was to inspire you to craft something with your own two hands. And just a reminder that I consider anything you do with two hands to be a craft, including things that don't result in a physical product. This is just as much skill and patience as I need for any other craft that I do. So I I consider this a craft for sure. <laughs> you may see some rides coming up once I get a little GoPro set up. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see where it takes me. I'm really into this hobby right now and I'm excited to start this new chapter. So if you're excited to join us on this new chapter of trying new hobbies, learning new things and learning all kinds of new crafts, that's me, that's Coffee Craft. And that sounds like you'd be a perfect person to join our crafty community. And all you need to do there is to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And you're in, it's free, is it? If you would like to check out any more information we have, we have a website that will be linked in the description below. It's also at coffeecrafters.org. And we've got different craft tutorials. If you're interested in handicrafts, we've got those there too. And we have a Kofi over at the link in the description below. Uh, we have a little tier for subscribers there if you'd like. But yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. I look forward to having some more kinds of video available on a motorcycle. <laughs> and I can't wait to see what we can craft together next time. All right, bye-bye.